Iowa football team will be full of new faces after losing a strong senior class to graduation and four underclassmen to the NFL. That's forcing the coordinators to tailor their schemes to what best fits their personnel. Hawkeye headquarters reporter Adam Rosso tells us what that could mean for the 2019 season. Another edition of spring football is coming to a close here in Iowa City and we're getting a clearer picture of what both Brian Ferentz and Phil Parker want to do with their offense and defense next season. Ferentz saying you're likely not going to see as many two tight end sets as we saw with Noah Fant and TJ Hawkinson last fall, while Parker said the cash position that Amani Hooker played is now well embedded in the defensive philosophy. It helped us in a lot of different ways as, as far as protecting different guys and, and what can we do to the backside X compared to the front side. And we could have done a better job there. And, and so I figured if we put a guy there that have a little bit more skill and can move a little bit better, could help us out in the passing game when they're trying to attack us there. What you try to do is build the system, build the scheme, and, and build the, the structure so that it can handle multiple personnel groups. But in theory, you, you should be able to run your core stuff across 23 personnel groups and probably across a couple formations. And that gives you the illusion of multiplicity to the defense. Stanley's pass complete to number 38, TJ Hawkinson. With all of the personnel changes and schematic tweaks, both Ferentz and Parker pretty happy that Friday's open practice is not a full-fledged football game. The Hawks start for real on August 31st when they host Miami of Ohio. Reporting from Iowa City, Adam Rosso for Hawkeye Headquarters.